Taxonomically speaking, the word bug is often used as a nickname for insects in general, and even for non-insect arthropods like spiders, centipedes, and millipedes. But any entomologist will tell you that the term bug actually refers to members of a specific order or group of insects, the order Hemiptera. These insects are properly known as true bugs, characterized by having sucking mouthparts that they use to suck juices from plants or prey. And the group includes all manner of bugs, from bed bugs to plant bugs to stink bugs. And typically, stink bugs are associated with one thing. They stink. When a stink bug feels threatened, it releases a pungent substance from special glands on its last thoracic segment, repelling nearly any predator that has a sense of smell. Because of this, stink bugs aren't particularly beloved bugs, but that doesn't stop them from evolving into colorful creatures. From the one that looks like a piece of art to the one that shines like a piece of jewelry, here are 10 of the most beautiful stink bugs in the world. Commonly found in Eastern Australia and New Guinea, the hibiscus harlequin bug is a brightly colored convex and rounded shield-shaped species with a metallic sheen that grows to about 20 millimeters. Adult females are mostly orange and males are both blue and red or orange, while nymphs are typically metallic green and purple. The colors are quite variable and experiments suggest that the variation in color may reduce bird predation, especially on the immature stages. The variations within this species are so extreme that since 1781, different taxonomists have described this species under different new names at least 16 times, and some of these supernumerary names remaining in use until 2006, when it was finally confirmed that they were all color forms of a single organism. Anyone who is familiar with the work of Pablo Picasso knows that he was notorious for his abstract cubism style of art. While Picasso showcased his art on canvas, the Zulu hut bug displays an equally as mesmerizing pattern on its back. Otherwise known as the Picasso bug, the insect's dazzling design represents a warning to predators. Not only that, it also emits a noxious odor when disturbed. Quite fortunately for the moment, its numbers appear to be sufficient and stable. However, the two greatest threats to its existence likely consist of habitat loss and climate change. Widely distributed in Central and South America, the red-bordered stink bug is not a bug that you could easily miss. It practically glows turquoise blue, and the rest a shockingly bright orange. Despite its beautiful coloration, this species is not loved by all. As they can be serious pests on crops, especially those in the nightshade family including potato, tobacco and eggplant. It is one of many stink bugs who defend themselves from attackers by secreting chemicals that stink and otherwise repel predators. When threatened, they also vigorously shake their antennae. And if that doesn't help, they may hide among the leaves, or drop to the ground and hide in leaf litter, or simply fly away. Occurring in Europe, North Africa, South and East Asia, the ornate shield bugs are dramatically coloured, usually red and black bugs, but often with other colour morphs. As a herbivorous species, this shield bug sucks the sap of plants, especially crucifers such as cabbage, cress and radish. As a matter of fact, it may become a parasite that can damage crops as it can stunt plant growth, wilt the leaves and create superficial spots and pits. Found in Eastern Asia, the clown stink bug is a brightly coloured convex and rounded shield-shaped bug with a metallic sheen that grows to about 20 millimetres. Iridescence of this species is actually the result of structural coloration. Instead of pigments, the colors are caused by the interference, diffraction, or scattering of light by numerous tiny structures. As a result, this extreme iridescence hardly seems like a camouflage, so when disturbed, these bugs spray a foul-smelling concoction in the general direction of the attacker as a deterrent. Found throughout Australia, the eucalyptus tip bugs are named so for their behavior of sucking the sap out of the eucalypt leaves. Adults of this species are brown to black, with a yellow to green-tipped wing cover. But as they grow, 
the juveniles of this species undergo stages of molting the skin that can involve some dramatic color changes, which, for the novice, appear to be different species. The instars are brightly colored, ranging in color from yellow to orange bodies, with blue or dark blue colorings. The enlarged hind legs of this species are used to hold onto leaves whilst sucking the sap, but may also assist in attracting a mate. In addition, the males are fiercely territorial and even try to saw off each other's hind legs. Found in Madagascar through South and Southeast Asia, the man-faced stink bug comes in four different colors, red, orange, yellow, and cream. Though these bold colors send a signal to potential predators that the bug is poisonous, not tasty, or perhaps just to mislead predators, they also got some entomologists calling this bug as Elvis Presley bug. And with this pattern, you can tell why. This species masses in dense groups of several hundred on fruit trees and are considered as a pest, as they feed on the young shoots and sap of valuable crops, such as cashew trees, corn and cotton. As a matter of fact, India has reported extensive damage to cashew trees and lower yields due to infestations of the bug. Inhabiting the Sonoran Desert from southwestern Arizona to the Mexican state of Baja California Sur, the giant mesquite bugs can grow up to five centimeters in length. Despite their impressive huge size, these bugs cause no significant plant damage, harmless to humans, and do not have a venomous bite or sting. Normally, these insects live and suck plant sap from young stems and tender pods in the tops of the mesquites, but move towards the base of the tree as the temperatures rise. Even though the adults are mainly dark brown and black, the nymphs are patterned with vivid red, yellow, white and black and change patterns as they pass through five molts before finally turning into adults. These nymphs are often seen in clusters, maybe giving the appearance of a larger animal to ward off predators. But again, they may emit a foul-smelling defensive secretion when threatened. Found in Indomalaya, Australasia, and Eastern Asia, the long and stink bugs are generally yellow-brown and shield-like in shape. Even though the adults are mostly brown, the nymphs of this species are absolutely spectacular. From a glance, a nymph looks like a colorful small shield. However, when they dwell on longan and lychee trees, these bugs are considered a big nuisance to the local farmers. They consume nectar or sap with their sucking mouthparts, which results in flowers, fruits and twigs withering. As a matter of fact, the fruit loss caused by this species infestation normally reduces the fruit yield by 20 to 30 percent and may reduce it by 80 to 90 percent if the infestation is heavy. In addition, the stinky fluid jet they squirt causes a burning sensation of the skin or even a skin ulcer. Scutelliridae is a family of true bugs that are commonly known as jewel bugs or metallic shield bugs due to their often brilliant coloration. With the name based on the Asian genus Scutellera, they are also known as shield-backed bugs due to the enlargement of the thoracic scutellum into a continuous shield over the abdomen and wings. This characteristic distinguishes them from most other families within heteroptera or true bugs and may lead to misidentification as a beetle rather than a bug. Though some species within this family are quite drab, the most conspicuous jewel bugs are often brilliantly colored, exhibiting a wide range of iridescent metallic hues that change with the view angle. The colors are the result of a combination of factors. Some species display colors from multiple thin layers of pigmented chitin, and these colors often change or become duller when the specimens are dried due to the topmost chitinous layer becoming opaque and obscuring the colors of the bottom layer.